Associate Information Storage and Management Exam DIA 1 TT5 Updated questions will be helpful for you to study all the Dell EMC DIA 1 TT5 exam topics. Share some updated DIA 1 TT5 exam questions here. 1. What is an accurate statement about a virtual machine? VM, clone. A. VM clone is deleted automatically when the parent VM powers down. B. Provides the capability to restore VM data to any point in time. C. VM clone is assigned a separate network identity. D. Changes made to the VM clone always affects the parent VM. 2. Which feature of an object-based storage system abstracts and provides a common view of storage independent of location to applications? A. Global namespace B. Flexible data access Circa multi-tenancy D. Scale-out architecture 3. Why is it important for organizations to store? protect, and manage their data. a. Reduce the amount of data to be replicated, migrated, and backed up. b. Rapidly develop and deploy modern applications for business improvement. c. Develop new business opportunities by leveraging existing data. d. Reduce the complexity in managing the data center environment. 4. Which two statements about configuring a traffic monitoring session are true? Choose 2. A. You can set a local VM as a traffic destination. B. You can have up to two active monitoring sessions simultaneously. C. An unlimited number of monitoring session can be stored. D. A newly created monitoring session is enabled by default. E. A destination port can also be a source port within the same session. F. A VHBA can be a source for either an Ethernet or fiber channel monitoring session, but not both. 5. What is the advantage of adopting OpenID by an organization? A. Allows an individual to specify and perform an action on the storage system. B. Provides authorization control that enables a client to access protected resources. Circa eliminates the need to deploy a separate authentication system. D. Eliminates a phishing attack while exchanging IDs across data centers. 6. What is a benefit of using an existing IP-based network infrastructure for storage connectivity? A. Provide a dedicated network for storage. B. Provide the ability to extend the network over long distances. Circa ensure lossless transmission of FC traffic over Ethernet. D. Ensure security by allowing only localized data movement. 7. What is a key objective to performing continuous replication? A. Avoid performing data archiving. B. Reduce the RPO to near zero. C. Reduce the deduplication ratio. D. Avoid performing data backups. 8. Which component is required for a recovery in place backup approach? A. Disk based backup target. B. Agent based backup client. C. NDMP server. D. Data deduplication server. 9. What is an accurate statement about infrastructure discovery? A. Creates an inventory of infrastructure components and provides information about the components. B. Standardizes ongoing infrastructure management activities and assesses potential risks of the activities. Circa classifies. 
organizes, and analyzes all infrastructure management best practices stored in data lakes. D. Detects potential security attacks on a storage infrastructure and deploys specialized tools to eliminate the attacks. 10. Which capability is provided by a software-defined storage controller? A. Ability to pool and abstract physical storage and present it as an open storage platform. B. Ability for multiple operating systems to run concurrently on a single physical compute system. Circa mechanisms to automatically create application programming interfaces for centralized management. D. Single self-contained package with integrated hardware and software components. <laughs>